What's up everyone? Today I'm reviewing the Kun Rikon Swiss Design Can Opener. So this thing costed about 17 bucks after tax on Amazon. And uh, it's, a, it's a can opener. I guess a can opener, a bottle cap opener, uh, whatever that little thing does. You know, multi-device tool. Multi-tool device. And it's made by uh, Kun Rikon, Swiss design, I guess. Oh look, there's some instructions on the back. Alright, let, let me get this out of the plastic packaging. Perfect. So, how does this thing work? Let's look at the instructions here. Uh, Place Louvre. Okay, I don't know how this works. Oh right, the instructions in English uh, are a little bit up higher, but there's some pictures too. So I gotta put this on the can and then twist it. So this looks like a two-handed technique. Unfortunately, one of my hands has to hold the phone used to record this video. Um, hmm. Why don't I just take this thing out first? Dang it! This this thing here won't come off. This little zip tie. Man, if only this tool had some scissors too, that would be nice. So after struggling for about five minutes, I managed to take everything but the stupid zip tie off. Uh, well, I guess that's how it's going to be now. So there's a little button here that, oh, is it, a, is it even a button? I'm not even sure. So there's this thingy to clamp on stuff. Oh, I see. There you go. And then there's a blade here. A little hook, uh, the twisting cap, bottle opener, a little wedge hammer, some other thing here, and I guess this thing helps you open twist off bottle caps right here with the ridges. All right, let me go ahead and grab a can and put this baby to work. I have a can of uh, premium chunk chicken breast by Kirkland. I'll do a separate review on this later in a, in a different video. Let's just focus on the Swiss can opener by Kunraikon. Let's rinse off the top a little bit there. All right, so how do I do this with one hand? I'm not sure, but let's try it anyways. I think I have to put this on top somehow. Okay, and then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this, uh, but I have no idea. So. Let me figure it out and then I'll continue the video. Okay, I figured out the problem. You see how these, this thing is lined up with this thing? I need it to be a little bit spaced apart, like that. And then from there, I need to put the rim of the can between that space and then it'll work. So, something like this. Then I'll just twist it and it'll latch on like this. And you see how it's strong enough to lift up the can? Perfect. Let me see if I can get an angle with my camera here so that I can record myself opening a can. Nice and clipped on. Start twisting, twisting, twisting. Oh man, you should just get an electric can open. I can't really tell if it's working. Uh, usually with other can openers, the metal thing, the metal lid pops up a little bit, but with this one, can't really see. Oh, looks like the phone moved a little bit. Let me remove the camera. There we go. There we go. I'm worried this thing's just gonna pop off and fall at any moment now. Uh, but I think I'm done. I'm pretty sure I've been around the whole way at least once. Let's see. Yeah, it leaves little ridges here. I don't know if you can see that, but I think I'm done. So, how in the world do I get this off? Do I just. Oh, shoot. How do I get this thing off? I think I go backwards. Ah, there we go. 
Oh look, wow. It opened the can. And there's no sharp edges here or here. That's that's actually incredible. Let me dump some of this out so you can see. See? There's I can touch this and I'm not getting a cut on my thumb. And uh same with this part. So it's very nice and safe, I guess. Safer than the traditional can openers that I've worked with. But so far it looks like a great product. So that was the Kun Raikon Swiss Design Can Opener. Uh, very nifty little tool here. It opens cans in a different way from what I'm used to. It, it leaves this little ridge on, so there's no sharp edges that I can see here. Maybe it's down here. I shouldn't really be checking because I might accidentally cut myself, but no, everything feels not sharp. Incredible. I like it. Well, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.